So I want to share with you guys something that I have been doing inside my business that has been so good. It's been good for me. It's filling my soul. It's been good for my business. It's been good for my content creation. I want to share with you because it's something that I am doing right now in my business, how it's really going. Well, it's really going well. And so I want to share that with you guys. So if you are here, hello, welcome. I have a Facebook community. I don't know if you guys have a Facebook community or not. You would most Well, I guess you wouldn't necessarily need to have a Facebook community for this, but you need to have a place where you have your ideal clients that hang out, whether it could be happening on your Instagram, it could be on in a Facebook community. I mean, I guess if you had a good community on YouTube and you, cause you can go live on YouTube. So it could potentially work there as well. I don't know the ins and outs of how to do it on each of those things. I do know how it works on a Facebook community. And that's the story I'm going to share with you guys today is how this is working for me in my Facebook community. You can take it and apply it however you need to in your business. The point of it is, is it's, it's about sharing more of you to your audience that helps you build that know, like, and trust, but it's also a great way to help you be of service. It's also a great way to help you create content. Here's how I've been doing it. So at the beginning or at the, yeah, at the beginning of December of last year, I got the idea to start showing up in my Facebook community because I have a Facebook community called Clarity, Visibility, and Clients. Uh, It's for online coaches and entrepreneurs. It is on uh, Facebook. If you are an online entrepreneur or an online coach, and you're looking for more support in your business, please find it on Facebook. Uh, You can request access. We'd love to have you, or you can go to shanarecker.com forward slash Facebook, uh, and you can get access that way. I created this community because I wanted a place where coaches, especially new coaches and new online entrepreneurs could come together and get some tips and advice and some things they need to keep moving in their business. Because I know how overwhelming and how frustrating and how there are so many things to think about as a new online entrepreneur, it can get so overwhelming that people actually just stay stuck and they never actually move forward on their desires and their dreams. I know that that happened to me when I started my business. It actually took me a year to finally start my business because I had so many fears and doubts and it was just like, overall just overwhelming. So I wanted to create, I created actually a space where new entrepreneurs can, can come in and feel heard, feel seen and get what they need to move their business forward so that they're not ever feeling stuck. So it is free. There's no cost to it. Uh, And of course, in this community, I do also share my offers because what you get inside the community is great. It's going to help you keep moving for sure. But the real juice, the real meat and potatoes of what I do with new coaches happens inside my programs. So your community or wherever you decide to set this up, this is like a taste of, it gives people a taste of what it's like to work with you. And I think that's also a very important part of this whole story is people can build that connection with you and see what you're like as a coach and decide if they do want to work with you in the future. So, um, so many positive things have come from this. So basically what I've done at the beginning of December, December is I started offering hot seat coaching. I called it hot seat Mondays. I would go live and answer the questions from a post that we had scheduled to go out the previous Thursday. So on the previous Thursday, there would be a post that would say, Hey, hot seat Mondays coming. What are your questions? The people in the community would ask questions about where they're at in their journey for their business. Some people haven't even started their business. So they're just, you know, talking about fears and doubts. Some people are asking specific questions like, how do you start a YouTube channel or how do I create an email list? You know, there's all kinds of different questions, which is what I love too, because for me as the coach, I want to know and get data from my ideal clients to see what they need to know because it helps me create content. They would ask the questions and I would take those questions. I actually put them onto a Google doc. So I have them tracked. uh, So I know the kinds of things that people need help with. And then on Mondays I go live and I answer their questions and I give them some coaching. It's usually about 30 minutes of coaching, 30 to 40 minutes of coaching, depending on how many questions there are. I love it. I absolutely love hot seat coaching. I like, this is why I do group coaching programs because it makes me, I don't know what happens. I get into some sort of like vibe alignment when I'm in a group of people and they're asking me questions and I'm just like fielding them sort of on the fly. And I, I don't know, something clicks, I get into a vibe. So there's something that happens with me when I get into that space. And so I love it because I get to show up and help 
my, the people in my community get the coaching that they need. It allows me to be of service and it fills my cup. I always feel amazing after doing these calls and doing these lives. And then what happens is, is after, so I do a couple of things after the first thing is that the video lives inside my Facebook community. So anybody who's coming into the community can go back through the different hot seat coaching calls and, and listen to them and get coaching from the questions that were asked. The other thing that we do is my assistant will extract the video from the Facebook group. She will run it through Ottery AI, which is an app. I'm not affiliated with it. It's just an app that we use and it transcribes the audio. So what I can do from the transcriptions of the audio is I can pull out quotes for my social media. Actually, one of my best posts that I've done recently, I did a carousel post on Instagram that said actual transcripts from my hot seat coaching calls in my Facebook community. And then I did, I pulled out some quotes and things that I had said in the coaching uh, on that, on that post. And basically it was just to say, Hey, I've got this community. I do this coaching. Here's the things that I said. And it again, helps build that low, no like, and trust in the post, right? So I'm basically taking these hot seat Monday calls and I'm repurposing them in many, many, many different ways. So getting the, the transcription is one way. Now I have the video. I can break apart the video and create smaller chunks of content for reels for TikTok for YouTube shorts. Now I have this content that I can repurpose uh, for my business. It's such a win-win thing to do because I'm serving my clients. I'm serving my audience. I'm helping them move forward in their business. But then at the same time, I'm also getting in return content for my business. It really is a really powerful and easy, really easy way. It's like, it takes me, like I said, maybe an hour a week to, to do everything between looking at the questions, writing down some thoughts, doing the coaching. Uh, to be able to create this content. Now for the month of December, I did it do, I did it every week. Now we do it bi-weekly inside the community because it does, you know, I have other things that I have to focus on. So we do it bi-weekly, but we did it weekly just as a test and it went over really, really well. I share this with you because this is something easy that you can implement into your business and it doesn't take a lot of time, but what you get in return between the transcriptions and between the videos and between like the content that you're creating, there's so many great things that you get from doing something like this. One of the questions that you might have when I say this is like, but if I do this free coaching in my community all the time, like, am I not just giving away all my good stuff? And my answer is no. First of all, I don't believe you can ever really give too much free value in your content. They're not getting private one-on-one -on -one time with me. I am answering their questions in a way that not only serves them, but also serves everybody in the community because you, you know, one question you might have for yourself, other people have it too, but just don't know to ask it. Right. So a lot of times what will happen is on the replays for these videos is people inside the community will watch the replays and be like, oh, that was a really great question or, oh, I really needed that. And they didn't even ask the question to begin with. Right. So it really has a huge impact on the people inside your community for sure. Um, and the people who watch the videos. And then, like I said, now you've got all of this content that you can use to make smaller clips of, uh, use for quotes, use for Instagram, use for TikTok, all of these other places to help you build your authority, to build your know, like, and trust, and to really just con continually create content for your business. Now, a couple of things I will say about the Facebook community specifically is, and I learned this again from a friend of mine, her name's Cassie Bilt, and she has a Facebook strategy that she uses for her business and, and shared it with me. And I love her strategy and I'm gonna share it with you because it's so important. First of all, my Facebook community is not a vanity metrics kind of thing. I have a small number of people in that community and it is that way for a reason because when you are inside my Facebook community, I'm there to serve the people who are there to do the work and to be engaged and to be a part of the community. So I clean out my Facebook group at least once a month with inactive users. Because one, it messes up the algorithms for those that are in the group. If people aren't responding to your stuff, then that means your stuff's not being shown to everyone and the people who do want to see it can't access it. And two, my Facebook community is like inviting you into my living room and having a chat about your business. It's my space. It's my sacred little spot on Facebook where I choose to help and support online coaches. So I only want people in my living room, in my space who want to be there 
who want to learn, who want to grow. I highly recommend that if you do something like this for your community, uh, if you have a Facebook community, to be very specific and very intentional about who you bring into your community because it you can, one, get people who are trolls and saying all kinds of things and putting crypto comments and shit on your stuff. And also, you know, like I said, you, you, it's, it's your private space. It's you're doing this for those who are engaged for those who are looking for the support. Right. So I don't care about the number of people in my group. I mean, I obviously want it to grow with people who want to be there, but I'm not somebody who's like, oh, I can't wait to grow a Facebook group with 10,000 people. So I can, you know, whatever it's, it's not that at all. Definitely a tight community. So if you are going to do it on Facebook, I would consider setting some intentions like that and some rules around your community. If you're in my community, I'll put a link in the the show notes for this and obviously a link into the YouTube notes. Uh, You can come into my community and you can see, like come into my community if you are a new coach or a new online entrepreneur who's looking for that support, but then you can also read the rules that I have and read all the things and see how I've set mine up to help you set yours up if you're going to do something like this. I am just loving it. And I'm going to continually do this throughout the whole course of 2023, free hot seat coaching bi-weekly in my Facebook community. I know that the return on the efforts is going to be far greater than just even you know, the coaching of the specific people that are asking the questions, like the law of cause and effect is a real thing. It is a law. And basically what it means is what you put out in service, you get back in rewards. That's basically what you're doing when you're giving free value content, good content, and you're helping people, right? You're putting out in service and it may come back through the people inside your Facebook community, but it can come back in multiple different forms. It doesn't have to come back in the same way you put it out right? If you do any kind of, if you know anything about the universal laws, the law of cause and effect is the main law. You know, this is the intention behind doing this is of being of service. And for me, what I'm finding that's coming back in rewards is the amount of content that I'm able to create from doing one 30 minute coaching session in my Facebook community. And that brings me so much joy because we know the name of this game is consistency and content and showing up and giving value so that you can help attract the right people into your business and into your programs, right? Our programs are built to help people. We sell our programs because they help people, right? And so it's okay to sell. It's okay. I sell in all my videos. I tell them about what I have going on in my world. I tell them about the programs that I have open. I share those things with them because I know if they want to take their coaching to the next level, if they want to take their business to the next level, that's where that's where all the good, good, good stuff happens, right? The free coaching stuff. Yeah. You're going to get some tips. You're going to get some things to move forward, but really in the program is where you're going to get the real impact for yourself and in your business. So I wanted to share that how that might work on Instagram or other platforms. You kind of have to figure that out. There's I'm sure a version of it. Maybe every Friday you go live on your Instagram and maybe on, you know, the couple days before you do a question post or you put it in your stories with the question sticker. And then on Fridays you go live and you answer the questions. It could be something like that. Again, the other thing I will say is you've got to give your audience time to warm up to it. The first couple of times I did it, there was only one or two questions. Now that we're doing them, we're getting four and five questions. I'm getting multiple people showing up live to hear the questions. The feedback on the videos is becoming more and more comments and things like that. So it does take time to grow, be patient, be consistent, set your intention for it and just, and, and try it, right? See how it feels for you. I love it. And I'm going to keep doing it all of this year. So if you want to be a part of the Hot Seat Mondays coaching, make sure you visit my free Facebook community. You can go to shanarecker.com forward slash Facebook. It will take you right into the community. And that's the other thing I will say. I do have a form that you need to fill out in order to get into my community. I am in, in exchange for the free coaching. You are submitting your email address to me. That is an equal value exchange. It's like, hey, I'm going to share some, and because I share amazing things in my email as well, right? So not only are you going to get the Facebook community, but you're also going to get awesome things for me inside being a part of my email list. There is a bit of an exchange. You don't have to have it that way if you don't want to. I like to have it that way. And if you want to be a part of it and see how this all works, just go to shanarecker.com forward slash Facebook and you can check it out. 
And we'll have our next hot seat Monday is on January 30th. So if you're hearing this before then get in and then you can ask your questions. That's it for me. I hope that this is helpful. This is how it's really going. I'm loving this hot seat Mondays free coaching thing to see you inside the community. I hope that you create your own community. Let me know if this was helpful for you in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode.